This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. You want me to get copyright struck? <laughs> what if you do it all in air horns? Then they can't. That's not the same song. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I like. Definitely needed the full real time act out for that to be <laughs> joke to be appreciated. Uh, <laughs> I do like your idea, though, of just like, oh, I want to use the, the Imperial March, but I don't want copyright infringement. So I know what we'll do. Let's do the Imperial March, but we'll just change the timbre <laughs> and the melody <laughs> and the harmonic structure. Yeah, yeah, just use something different. Yeah, it's going to sound a lot like the real Slim Shady, please stand up. <laughs> but like Darth Vader's going to be there, so they'll get it. They'll get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very interesting intro, and we are back. Welcome back, guys, to the 57th episode of FFPU, recorded on the 8th of October 2017. And we have him back, as you already heard. It is... Oh, I have to introduce myself now. You always And you complain it. about my hosting skills? God damn it, I'm, you're always... God damn it! <laughs> you sound like God Chip Chipperson. God damn it! That out. <laughs> <laughs> it is Reggie. Reginald Barris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, you don't even get it right anyway. You know what? I'll do it. I mean, uh, you're, you're listening to yeah. FFP. Uh, we watched him. I mean, I'll do this how you should have done it always. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes. Please yeah. introduce yourself. Like you, I would. I should. Hello and welcome to the FFP podcast, oh, where yeah. we watch videos yeah. and. <laughs> so fucking with the mic. Uh, I'm so sorry, listeners. That's going to be one big blob of noise. See, that's how you should be introducing every episode. I'm so sorry, <laughs> listeners. I. <laughs> oh, now you're getting the hang of it. And see, you, 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 th nothing changes between the two of us. I don't, if, if it's a good movie or a bad movie, you're still shitting all over everything. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. I yeah. don't know what you... Yeah, that's true. Honestly, should, you wouldn't want me here if I wasn't going to shit on something. You're, <laughs> you're like an old German Scheiser. You're just like, I don't care what it is, but you better be shitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, Reggie. We watched, <laughs> after you picked it from a long list of movies. Three movies. Yeah. Two fucking Austrians. <laughs> a long list. No, no, there were potentially way more movies. No, but you said like after the third one, after you heard Before mm -hmm. Sunrise, you were like, yes, let's do this one. So yeah. not after the long list, like in the middle of the long list. Yeah. You, not I, even in the middle. In I the feel first like this is again of the list. reflective of your sex life. You're like, a long list of uh, <laughs> partners. Uh, Three, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Jack one time. It was I was saying I'm like, how many people have you had sex with, uh, or like been with? And he's yeah. just like, uh, he's like six. Wait, do blowjobs count? I was like, sure. And he's like, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I mean, it really pushes your numbers significantly by, more by eighteen percent or something like that. <laughs> you, you know, you 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 gotta you gotta take what you can get in, if you're in that in that in that numbers realm. That know? also sounds a lot like your sex life. Just taking <laughs> what you can get. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think we have to choose a shit movie the next time again, so you shit all over that instead of me. Yeah. Because you actually enjoyed this one. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, we watched Before Sunrise, a 1995 movie starring Ethan Hawke and, and Julie Delpy. <laughs> and it was uh, directed by Richard Linklater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and you totally see that this is a Linklater movie. Yeah, like, yeah. like it, from the cinematography to the, uh, like the whole structure and everything. It's very Linklater-ish. The, the budget is... Can you use that? No, obviously not. Okay. Um, 
The bu- I'd say the budget looks like it's higher than a lot of his other stuff at that time because it was ninety five. Yeah. Was, but it yeah it was definitely a, a more I don't want to say avant garde because that 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 puts a, a bit of pretension still, yeah, but it is still a very atypical s- like it's an atypical story structure it's especially for Hollywood it's movie. not yeah it's definitely an independent movie yeah. vibe yeah. yeah and 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 f- like it would have been so easy that it could have been in Paris the sequels in Paris yeah that makes sense yeah. but and I mean just this one. They, they could have just maybe they didn't have the money and literally like, could have put it anywhere dude <laughs> yeah because the thing is a lot of a lot of movies especially hollywood movies if they can't afford to shoot in paris they shoot in vienna like uh the three well, musket- the three or the four musket- one of the musketeers movies has a scene where they where they fight in paris outside of a building but it's shot in Vienna and in the background you see the Ferris wheel and the uh, and the uh, Stefan Sturm. This was a spoof movie. I <laughs> nope, nope. It was a full on Musketeers movie. Musketeers movie with a Ferris wheel. No, no, it wasn't a mistake. They didn't retouch it afterwards. Like they oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just forgot about it. Just fucking in a park. <laughs> yeah. You just see two kids on a merry go round. <laughs> With a black guy on it, last week. Yeah. <laughs> as your keen eyes quickly dissected this movie, it's not movie. that hard to recognize a black person in Vienna. Ah, uh, that's true. It, yeah. You're just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking body snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> they are among us. <laughs> Don't let them inside of you. <laughs> And if you do, don't let them come. Yeah, they'll um, never be, you'll never be the same again once they're <laughs> in you. All right, so uh, let's let's let's. So you had a f- uh, prior connection to this movie because you already have seen it. Not a connection, but yeah, I'd seen it before. No, but you've seen it with yeah. with with somebody significant significant well, to I, you. I think I'd seen it, and then yeah. I showed her the movie. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, I, okay. I liked the movie quite a bit. Yeah. I, I will say that in like the two, two and a half years since I've seen it, mm-hmm. uh, it's a little cheesier than I thought it was. Oh, okay. Like, or maybe I'm just that maybe, much more yep. dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> just or wanted like, to say that. They would just, but the thing is, like, no, because I'll say hit the Ethan Hawke's character, yep. there are parts of it where I'm just like, God damn, you're being overly cynical for no reason My, right now. Just it, for dramatic purpose, yeah, basically. I mean, like, but like. To get a rise out of somebody. I don't know. I think, like, I can definitely. The characterization, they, they do feel like very well-developed characters. Like, they oh, yeah. are good. They are. But, yeah, I think that that characterization, like, it was, it does seem like a really, a real person. Uh-huh. And they did a really good job of making sure that both characters do feel very much like real people. Yeah. But it's just the thing that I don't like about that character. It's mm-hmm. just like, oh, wow, you're like... like you're le- being a dick. Like, legit, like, she just said, this is one thing that would annoy me. And then within a minute and a half, he He's does doing it again. Maybe in the time frame of the movie, it's way later. No. Because we don't know, because this movie is jumping around like a scary cat that's, that's put, that has been sprinkled with water, you know? Not a good analogy? No? All right. I'll let you guys decide. Do you guys think <laughs> that was a good analogy? <laughs> Hashtag FFPO so we can find out. <laughs> It'll either just be, uh, I'm going to hashtag FFPU and it'll either just be no, it'll be just be like, F- <laughs> yeah, I, I have to make sure, I really have to make sure I get that extra F in there because uh-huh. it'll just blend in with the hashtag no FPU to go to no FFPU. Okay. But the thing is, I might just click on hashtag FFPU and see nothing, <laughs> uh, which is what I kind of expect to see. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think it's mostly my tags, yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of Paul. <laughs> like every either j- yeah yeah come on shit some more on, on, on. You, what you can do is you can either hashtag like type in hashtag ffpu or you can just hashtag and then just some shitty pun with the word spot involved and it'll be oh, the no, exact that, those, same those number always, that's always hashtag spot please i never put a oh no nah, do some yeah. hashtag puns that's true yeah of course you do yeah that's true yeah well, let's let's hash out the, yeah. the logistics well, the point later. Is, but um, his character—that uh, actually, you do know that it was pretty close because they were walking yeah. down the Donau Canal, uh-huh. and then they meet that fucking Parisian 
the no, Vienna the, guy. He, like he's like yeah, but like he's, the he Austrian couldn't. version of a Parisian uh, a starving artist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, uh, Entschuldigung, hab eine Frage. What? I'm sorry, we don't understand yeah. you. Eine Frage. <laughs> yeah, like 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 maybe maybe. <laughs> Maybe he thinks they're German and he just has to repeat himself. So they, yeah. but but they were speaking English all the way. So yeah, and yeah. Then the thing is, no, like, he was just being a dick. Yeah, just being a dick. And then once they were like, we only speak English. He's like, ah, okay. So, ah, uh, can you tell me a word and we can come up with uh, a poem? It wasn't that bad. It no, wasn't it wasn't. But my point is, that's my that's actually my point is that like his, he he's like refusing to go to english for a couple that's obviously speaking english yeah with obviously not austrian not t-rex accents and they were like he's like give me a word they said milkshakes and in like two minutes he came up with a very eloquent poem uh-huh. for a, not the language he was expecting that's to speak. true yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he he's he he he, he quickly uh uh did something i don't know that, that poem that poem nailed it paul so yeah that was, <laughs> sorry that was you are bad. on your a game right that, now yeah, yeah i'm, I'm really killing did it something that was <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah 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 no that, that's when when i thought that he ethan's hawk's characters was obnoxious no kind of right at the end because Coming up with that eloquent poem meant like he his theory was that he just popped in some words in a pre existing poem and then sold it to them. Yeah, but he basically. also wasn't expecting to do English. That oh yeah, that's said, true. That yeah. being said, like yeah. I'm sure I'm sure that's the hustle a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> but like also, Ethan Hawk char- his character was just like she was just like, This could be annoying. Like it would be yeah. annoying that you were just like a little uh, rooster prick. And <laughs> you rooster prick. You were being oh, it was just a cock. She was French and she didn't know that it was cock. You're being a cock right now. Well, I think or she dick. was saying like... Rooster dick. I feel like it was like a peacocking kind of strutting. Ah, thing. okay. Um, but Maybe it, it's something in French. Cornel beep. The, no, the, <laughs> the, the, the rooster is the Gaelic uh, national symbol, so... Are you really taking a picture right now or something like I'm that? I'm taking a picture right oh, now. Oh, God damn it. You're, you're, oh, you're, you're, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right now or like that. Really? That, <laughs> that's going to be great on the recording. Reggie, you've been a real on, dick right now. The best part is, uh, it yeah. didn't, it didn't, that wasn't good. So, hold on. So, let's just keep, just keep going. It's called professionalism. We just keep yeah. going as uh-huh. if that didn't happen. So, okay. what were you saying, Paul? <laughs> I was saying that Ethan Hawke's character, even though of his, his flaws... In general, was still a really, uh, really charming motherfucker. Um, yeah, I agree. Like, in look, he convinced a stranger to almost get date raped. Like, no, 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 no. She agreed to fu- she, sleep with him as soon she, as he got off the. Uh, she she can, got off the train. Yeah, but so, she didn't get off the train until he convinced her to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, like he was charming in general, but yeah, it was a thing where like he definitely was at times like super cynical for no reason and i'm pretty cynical but there were times <laughs> that's an understatement if i've ever heard one of yours <laughs> there were times when he was still like i was rolling my eyes at uh-huh. how cynical he was being yeah and that being said my level of cynicism is there were a lot of times when i just made an audible Ugh. yeah <laughs> whenever they were being whenever they were being, being too sweet cutesy. yeah yeah yeah, the whole movie, again, I, I said that during the movie, but it feels like a very long meet cute. It's just the, the, the scene in a, in a love, uh, love rom-com. Com, rom-com, in a rom-com where somebody drops the soap or something. In a, in the a sup- fuck in are a, you talking? In a supermarket <laughs> and both of them pick it up at the same time. What kind of shitty prison rom-com are you <laughs> listening to? Oh, I couldn't. I, we were all scared. It was a very tense thing. But then Peter dropped the soap. and that's Danny when DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger in the new prison rom-com. Whenever Schwarzenegger drops the soap and Danny just climbs yeah. a ladder to get to him. Little mouse in the big house. <laughs> Is that a real... No, but it could have been. Oh, big house prison. I was, I was, I thought there was an anal sex pun in there somehow. And I'm like, I don't know why you're calling your anus your big house. <laughs> Come in, it's very cozy. 
Oh, you know those love I've stories. Been over, I've been over there, some shit over there. You know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a home. I love that you just <laughs> compared this, like, that you just compared this movie to an extended meet cute. And your way of explaining what a meet cute was <laughs> was, you know, that time when like somebody drops the soap uh, in the, a supermarket. It yeah. just feels like a long, long pack of chips. I don't care. It's just a long cut <laughs> of somebody dropping the soap. They just drop it. <laughs> Ooh, like and then you make eye contact with the other person and you're just like what are we gonna do about that like, <laughs> i don't know i mean i think i'm already clean yeah mm, mm, mm. no you're no dirty. you're still, still dirty. dirty yeah you're still dirty uh, you yeah. still need to soap up that body <laughs> those packs those packs aren't clean i could help you there's clean actually them. a computer game now where you have to wash somebody under the shower i could help you clean them if i just had some soap Maybe you can get that soap for me. <laughs> can you do that, Daddy? Okay, okay, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so I should, okay, okay Reggie, just, stop I'm, using I'm, that voice. It, just, it's really. <laughs> I'm just get, turning you on. Yeah, it's, I'm getting really hard I right now. Need, let me just get that. <laughs> oh, that's the soap. I'm down here getting the soap. I hope nothing just slides in. <laughs> the slippery, slippery slope. <laughs> By the way, kids, don't use soap as I, anal lubricant. It's feel, a very bad idea. I feel the sun's idea. just sliding down the crack of my back. <laughs> Why are you turning salvin up all of a sudden? Just sliding on down. <laughs> You're like an 18th century <laughs> mistress. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I certainly do <laughs> hope there's some soap. <laughs> You stuck with the fish and so that, long, and that's and pretty see. much what that like. That was that's a real time. Yep, what before movie. sunrise is? Yeah, yeah, just a big long meat cute. <laughs> well, and that one guy had some cute meat, if you know what I'm saying. So. <laughs> God damn it! <That's>, uh, <laughs> why didn't I come up with that? That's that's brilliant. <clears throat> that's 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, it's just some vignettes of Vienna, basically, as the plot. They meet on the train. They get off the train. Oh yeah, let's no, go on to the first not, segment. No, by the way, <laughs> that was a great. I'm, I love how <laughs> your pulse stretch is gonna have like just it's a stutter. It's like, plot. It's gonna sound like a dubstep. Just <laughs> plot. Yeah. <laughs> I should put a a, a, a a bass that drops in there as well. This is what you meant by bass, right? Boom! Nail it again. I'm out punning Paul. Paul is irrelevant. <laughs> Hashtag make Paul obsolete again. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop stealing my non-existent fan base. It's like the, ni <laughs> it's like the 1940s all over again. Just some, <laughs> an American some, just taking away all our dreams. It's really just like jobs. some foreigner just comes and makes Austria completely irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. man. All right. So, yeah, it's just vignettes of Vienna, basically. But, uh, I wouldn't describe that as the plot. I mean, the plot is... Them. It's like literary fiction in in a video yeah. form, yeah, film form. Um, I mean, actually, video form. It seems like a home movie, like at some points, it, yes. But I think we can discuss yeah. that during. Cinema, I mean, no, I mean, it's shot better than that. But like the kind of vibe of the way everything's written does look like you're just kind of watching people. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very slice of life kind of thing. Yeah. So the plot. The is, Japanese have a whole thing about that. The the plot is just uh, this guy and this girl meet on a train. They start chatting. His the train stops in Vienna. That's where he's getting off because he's got a flight the next day. And for the super cheap Austrian airlines. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a second. That's that's one of the biggest plot holes in the whole goddamn movie. Yeah. Which is ridiculous because like the. I, uh, I'm Paper being, film plot. Yeah, I'm being very descriptive in how the plot is, but the plot is really at its core is one sentence of two people meet on a train, they get off and decide to walk around Vienna chatting for a day. For a day. Yeah. And then you find out that the reason that he's here is because he flew to Madrid for a girlfriend <laughs> yeah. who like didn't want him there. Yeah. So he said, I bought the cheapest flight I could find. <laughs> But unfortunately, it was Austrian <laughs> Airlines three weeks from now. Yeah. But that was the cheapest one, so I took it. But then, 
since it was three weeks, I just bought a, a gear rail pass yep. for three weeks, uh-huh. so I could drive around and have to look for accommodation for Europe three weeks. Super cheap, yeah. Yeah, like there's no fucking way <laughs> that an Austrian Airlines flight three weeks from now, plus a, a Euro pass, trip yeah. ticket, and then like living for three weeks yeah. is cheaper, even comparable. Like that's. I the, think I think in '95 he could have bought a Concorde. He flight could have bought Serbia. Have, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wanted it yeah, back then. Yeah, in '95 nobody wanted any part of that. He could have probably bought like huge chunks of Ukraine with that money. Like legit, he could have put an end to the whole Yugoslavian revolution. <laughs> it thing. Just, just like, everybody look, I'll just buy Serbia. None of you yeah. guys want it anyway. <laughs> I feel like that'll eliminate Conflict all the tensions. Solved. Yeah. They'll stop raping everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, having those mass grave parties. Parties. <laughs> no, but Serbia was like super bad and like the rape. Oh, and y- they, yeah. They yeah, were yeah. like the Japs. <laughs> 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 you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Serbia is the all European Japs. Serbians yeah. are the Japs of Europe. Hashtag FFP. Uh. No! <laughs> God damn it, Reggie. God damn it. <laughs> You heard it here. Paul, you're right. You do know about history. Jesus Christ. I agree with you, Paul. I don't know, but you're probably right. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so. (laughs) (laughs) You're so flustered. I am I am quite flustered right now. Look, yeah, man. Stick by the things you say. That's what I always say. Yeah, yeah. Be, well, be a man of your convictions. Yeah. yeah. And if you oh, think they're Japs, let's just, let's just be frank. Let's just call a Jap a Jap, you know? Yeah. Ching Chong is, but less... Uh, with maybe you shouldn't cross that line. That was kind of racist. Wait. <laughs> Jap Japs is fine. I, I didn't say Jap Japs. I said Japs. You're doubling it like... <laughs> Look at the Jap Jap. Look at the Jap Jap! That's that's you. Ching Chong Jap Jap. That's you. Jap is still super racist. Mm, I don't know. It's like totes or like props, you know? It's just it's an abbreviation for cool kids. Really? I'm just like a hipster cool girl. You think that's fine? Do you think Amis is a problem? No, oh, because I that's what I call you guys, so. Oh, so and just like you call Chinese people Ching Chong. <laughs> no, I never not, would do that. Which is that. not even shorter. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just racist. <laughs> I go out of my way to be racist. You really did. Extra syllables, <laughs> extra letters, <laughs> extra racism. <laughs> That's the Austrian recipe. <laughs> That's Austrian efficiency at its finest. Let's make it all, it'll all be longer and more cumbersome. But on the plus side, side it will be more racist. racist. Yep. So, <laughs> bonus. Stempel. <laughs> yeah, I'm an accredited racist. Uh, I get it. No, that's a, called I a get, birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> An Austrian birth certificate just qualifies you to be racist for I'm, the I'm, rest I'm, of your it's life. It's tax deductible, yeah. My racism. That sounds very Jewish. I don't think I would admit <laughs> that publicly. Not in this, not in this place. <laughs> what that racism is tax deductible? Yeah, yeah. They'll they'll be like, wait a second. <laughs> that sounds like a that's like a that's, that's like a, a Jew loophole. trying. It's <laughs> like a Jew trying to be an undercover cop of like, yo guys, you know where the doobies are at? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we can make hey guys, we can make racism tax deductible or something. <laughs> 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 You went out of your way. That, I'm trying to adapt to the Austrian way. <laughs> After seeing this. But I do stand by. That yeah. was a very good Jew impression you just did. What? Like it, it didn't even sound like your voice at all, but that was spot on. Well, I didn't do it. The Jewish one you just did. Which about one? the whole like, ah, tax deductible. Ah. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> this is fucking high five, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to put that up as a video <laughs> clip just to make the audience realize what actually went down. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, fine. We're good. We're golden. Yeah, I think you should include <laughs> that part when you do the audio clip. Like, I'm going to show them I didn't high five. You just clapped. High five though? Yeah. <laughs> God, that's how like how, how much trying there is in you as a person. I'm just like, how is he effortless? I don't get it. I will try so hard. I, I should have never. I feel told like you, you didn't that. even. I, I, I knew sh- it. You think I didn't see it? Like, <laughs> but like, I just like that you're just like personal honesty, and you get smashed for it. I just like that you're like you didn't even want to agree with me. I don't. I think you didn't agree with me at all. You're just like I don't agree with his stance about what and probably I'm, everything and I'm at like, this point. And I'm like high five, and you're like friendship. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> human contact. 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Reggie. Okay. So back to the plot. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's very important because they keep flirting and talking about life, death, and everything. Like they are jumping around in topics like a ton. Yeah, well, that's like that's just conversation. Though. I mean, like again, it's not much of a plot as much as it is just two people meeting. Yeah, yeah. And I do think that was really well done in that sense. That being said, again, looking back at it, there are parts where I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> but <laughs> I think did I think, it help that you watched it with your girlfriend back then? No, because I'd already seen the movie before. Like I just liked yeah. the movie. Oh, okay. And but like, still, like, with her, was it was it different? Yeah, because my dick might have gotten sucked halfway through it, and then we unpaused it, and I was like, "This movie's really every m- movie needs a a blowjob intermission." <laughs> I tried to get it going at movie theaters. Uh, those people did not like it though. No, I no. was I was giving them the, the head push, and, and they, they, were, they were like, "No, I'm they were not just cool like I'm watching," and, and I'm like, "Look, and, just and they're like, there's no popcorn down here. Why why are you doing this?" I'm like, "Look, it's a mon." I'm, I'm just like, "Look." <laughs> You don't need to see that he's just running up some stairs. What you need is the fucking eye of the tiger just fucking in your ears helping you uh-huh. get to town. You want to see the eye of the weasel? I'll <laughs> I don't know. That was dumb. But um eye of the weasel? The one eyed wonder weasel is where I was going. It's like a it's like a shitty exp- I'm not this isn't gonna make things better. And you're, and, and <laughs> yeah, you explain the and, shitty and, joke. And, and you don't cut anything out of your podcast. I might cut this out actually. <laughs> I think you should re- leave the racist parts in. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if I cut them out, this this one this is gonna be really good to have a callback to a racist bit that didn't 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 make it. No, but like yeah, for sure you did nail it on those racist bits. Like I mean, it's one of those <laughs> things. Reggie, like, motherfucker, <laughs> stop incriminating like, me. It was things where, that you I said it, and I'm like, dude, I would never say that, but <laughs> he's, he's right. We are all thinking it. Um, <laughs> wow, Paul, you're enlightening. <laughs> You really just <laughs> you just shined a, a light on all of my preconceptions. Just shined a, a white light. Uh, on uh, do you mean a, a bright white light? Yeah. Is that what I meant? Would you, I, I, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I, he just shined a white light. You're like, do you mean a bright, bright white, white light? light? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but uh, so. The thing was, one of the things that was kind of a plot hole also, which is mm. crazy that you can have such a, a non-plot and have a plot hole, yeah. was the conversation of getting her off the train. Which, it is possible, like, that, that if you find two people who are whimsical yeah. enough and, like, you don't have anything to do, yeah. it is possible. But unlikely. Super unlikely. Super unlikely. Yeah. Especially super unlikely that that's going to happen and in the same day a fucking Viennese bartender <laughs> is going to give you a bottle of red wine with a handshake deal that you'll wire him money back from America yeah, he in basically, 1995. No, no, he, he, rolled, he rolled the dice and, and he like cracked the jackpots. That's what happened. That's what his level of luck is to have that all of that work out to make it a magical day. Basically, because they really fell in love at the end, I think. Like, they, they really cared about each other and were really into each other. Uh, not to take the ending, well, look, ending I mean, away the, the, for, the, well, for the viewer for a 22-year-old movie. Well, it, it's, a, it's a trilogy, and uh, the, yeah. the next movie is nine years later. Ah, okay. Uh, so they didn't make the five-year... It was oh, one six year. months. Six months, yeah. yeah. No, what you find out at the beginning, or in the next movie, is he's mm-hmm. written a book about it because he becomes an author. He's in Paris for like a book signing, ah. and she happens to run into him there, and she's <laughs> like, "Hey," he's like, "We had sex in the park," and she's like, "No, we didn't." And he's like, "What do you fuck? Yes, we did." And then later she's like, "I don't want to feel like a so whore." That's why I you, never that's, saw you. That's yeah. why you. That's why I know. No, yeah. ah, okay, because they left it ambiguous in this one. Thanks yeah. for 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 stuffing that oh, sorry. plot hole. Retroactive spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, guys, if you haven't Activate seen the movie yet, retroactive oh. spoiler alert. Guys, if you haven't seen the movie, don't listen to what I just said. So, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> hit yourself over the head with a really big ma- mallet and 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 then and then it's erased. No, but what we find out is like I think her grandma died that that, You're right. that in that next time frame. Okay. Like, so that's why she couldn't make it on the day because he uh, showed up and she didn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Third movie is them married with kids. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. And then it's like each movie is, is like it, nine it's years apart. Vienna big 
Again, no, or is uh, the, the second one? one's in Paris. The third one's, I think, in Greece on holiday. All right. Okay. I, don't, I might not watch the Greece one. You care so little about the plot. Here's the plot for Paul. Yeah. Oh, like they, they got to West Bonhoff and they're like, hey, let's go, you know, chat. And he's like, oh, that is Madlinger Bank. They had the best. What was it? Which UBB one? Bank. Yeah. UBB Bank. Yeah. Oh, it was the best interest rates in the entire country. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, Paul? <laughs> no, literally no one cares about yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's I true. hope I funk. Uh, I bought the radio there one time. No one cares. <laughs> I threw a bottle into that Don Al. There's only one Don Al. No, like, Don Al <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It, I have uh, also seen an opera. No, it, the thing is, though, that if you if you have such an intimate connection to the city that this one is portraying, bumper cars. I played bumper cars, dude. That that you uh, you sound I'm, jaded as shit. But the the bumper car thing actually was like one of my best memories as a kid. I get with it. My, with but my like, aunt. you kept saying it like it was relatable. Like and like, uh, bumper I, cars uh, are relatable. Yeah, but not those bumper cars. They are every there's the same everywhere. Yeah, no, but like, dude, but you were like very much on the fact that oh, you, no, you saw have bumper cars. generator bumper cars in the US. No, we got we got bumper muscle cars. Dude. It's all fucking <laughs> machine guns on them. <laughs> that's not what a muscle car is. A muscle car is like it's a just Corvette. a really ripped car with, with like a six pack and and. <laughs> uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like a like a like a Mustang. That's a, that's a muscle car. I I know what a muscle car is. So I'm just being a dick. <laughs> you want another beer, Reggie? You want another beer? You go want to? That's. A, I think I might loop this as a sound effect. Honestly, that sounds like it could be like a background noise for your Paul stretch. Best <laughs> <laughs> moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but the thing is, like, I you definitely got hung up on, and I think that really. Um, oh, hold on. Yeah. So convincing her to get off the train was a thing where it was just, it could happen. It's highly improbable, but like it could happen. Yeah. But definitely not in the time frame it took him to do it. Which, like, oh yeah, because look, the amount of time that went into the conversation, you could potentially get somebody to be like, okay, let's just. It was like a minute or two, mm. but it was definitely. He came up to her after the. the it was not. It was not a terminal station to get to Westbahnhof. It was going through because uh, she was supposed to go. They can't go through. The Westbahnhof is a. No, I get that. They they drive in and drive off again. But but, my, but, yeah. my, but it's not. I'm not saying they're going through. They just fucking speed. <laughs> no, yeah, like they speed. just speed to it yeah. and just fucking <laughs> go straight through. No, like blowing I the that. whole budget on that one scene, destroying the Westbahnhof and everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> the rest of it's just uh, that looks. That's fucking <laughs> the 3D, aftermath. 4K. Yeah, <laughs> but, but and then the rest is just handy cam. I've had it with this. The rest looks like my re- on the your recording of my one hour, my one man show of just like, oh, that was probably a person, <laughs> but. Um. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, Reggie. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really elevating the game here. I love it. Is the sad part is that's true. Uh, <laughs> In your mind, it is. Yeah, which is double sad. You're never gonna come back into this again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you're so needy. <laughs> <laughs> I say so much horrible <laughs> shit to you all the time. You made one pretty lame comment, like, <laughs> very tame, and you're like, "I'm sorry, please come back, please." I need. I'm just a nice guy, you know. He just looked in my eyes like I just dropped the soap. I was just like, <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do about this? Meat killed, uh, meat killed soap. Yes. He goes, oh, is that lavender? Sweat, yeah. <laughs> oh, you wanna try lavender that? and try aloe vera. Aloe vera soap. Yeah. It helps alleviate the burn. Yeah, it's very, it's yeah. very foamy. It it is a it doubles as a lubricant and a balm. <laughs> it's it's also an right antispermicide. You will not even feel my chlamydia once we <laughs> with all of this aloe vera. How, wait, how do you feel chlamydia? How do you know that? Because I've, I've probably gotten it. Oh well, I don't okay. know. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe <laughs> I don't know. Props. I mean, like I'm an adult. My dick looked like a Swiss cheese for a while. <laughs> Why did my dick have holes in it? 
my, my dick had like a four hole punch in it and i'm just like it must be maybe chlamydia who knows oh you have an a4 long dick nice so you do use that four hole punch on there it's, it's equally thick too Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I slice you very turn my thin. dick sideways, it disappears. As, as <laughs> it's like a magic it's trick. A trick. Yeah, that looks <laughs> I'm like Chris Angel, just like it. Well, now you see it. Now I'm a girl. <laughs> to have it to, to look normal, you roll it up and have like a rubber band. To have Honestly, it that's up. like that's my that's my sex life. Like, <laughs> that's why it's not gay. It's not gay, no matter who I fuck, because I'll just give him a little paper cut and just go right into it. <laughs> And I'd be like, nah, she had a big old gash. It was, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, you're like, Reggie, that was my arm. And I'm like, she had. <laughs> <laughs> I just throw some soap on it and call it a day. <laughs> oh, you want that dove? Oh, ivory. You're soaking in it right now. Cinematography. <laughs> the cinematography was fine. Oh, it was great in parts where they had that l those long static shots that really were nicely framed in the in the in the in the subways and uh, stuff see, like that. that didn't I like strike that. me as like excellent cinematography. That struck that struck me as low budget. Oh yeah, no, 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 they didn't have any money. So it was like this. it struck me as more like okay, we'll just have you, especially and like it does add to the moment when you have these long, very real conversations happening yeah. where they do feel like you're just watching two people like. Like you're just one of the judgy Austrians on the BIM just looking back at these two <laughs> loudmouthed American people. Yeah. Which she was not American, but it was English, and that's all the Austrians know. Mm -hmm. Also uh, that that for a French woman, her English was excellent. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, she definitely had a French accent, but it was not no, it was not a strong one. Yeah. It was a, it was yeah. definitely French, but yeah. like it wasn't a super strong one. I would She didn't do Gerard but your level of French accent. She didn't do a Paul trying to be French either, so <laughs> But I, I do think. That oh, what is wrong with my accent? It is uh, quite good, don't you think? I love how you fell in love with her so much. Like you fell in love with the character so much because you just I love love. Uh, no, and that, so and, so much that and, she's like, hey, let's have a little phone call. I'm gonna call my friend. Bring bring. Oh, sorry, <laughs> dring 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 dring. Comment ça va? And you're like. Ça va bien. <laughs> like you just, it was not even like voluntary. It just, it just seeped out of you. Like, ça va bien. Et toi? Et toi? Pour moi? Qu'est-ce que tu as pour moi? <laughs> oh, it's horrifying to hear you speak French. <laughs> That's not how I speak French. I'm obviously being a dickhead. Yeah, no, no. That. But still, in that voice, in that. Qu'est-ce que tu as pour moi? <laughs> it's, it's very Julie Delpy. No, 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 Reggie. <laughs> but um, going back to cinematography, I, I really enjoyed, for example, that they didn't really retouch their faces except for some minimal makeup. Is that really cinematography, though? That's more. It's, I mean, it's a visual. It's a visual thing. element. Yeah. So, so he he looked like a greasy, greasy guy who has been on the train for three weeks. It was definitely you can yeah. see his puberty wearing off. Like, <laughs> It is a very young Ethan Hawke, yeah. He's yeah, early twenties, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he looks like it. He still has that baby face, a little bit, with the with the with the chubby chin, a little pedophile smile whenever he got. A oh yeah, chin. no, he he reminded me my, uh, of myself back then. Man, it was weird was when you said it the first time. <laughs> it's still weird. It's weirder when I frame it by saying pedophile smile. Like he <laughs> did remind me of me. Like that's not. <laughs> God, Look, you need to think I, of the I, way I, you present I mean, yourself. I had a really creepy smile. It, I had a pedophile smile. I look. No, <laughs> it wasn't a pedophile smile. It was just a smile every time I saw a six-year-old. That's not. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I, I feel like the word pedophile is really demeaning to us in the community. <laughs> we call ourselves LGBTQ. Young, we, we call ourselves young people lover. Ah, uh, I just like the LGBTP. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me for my orientation. <laughs> I was born this way. Yeah. After my uncle molested me. <laughs> but I was born with an uncle who would molest me. 
I at least had a gun crew. It's not. It wasn't. It was not molestation. We were in love. Yeah. We were. We were. I. I. I was taking a bubble bath. Yeah. I dropped the soap. <laughs> One thing led to another. Nice callback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it the Dove soap? <laughs> I was. So, I don't know if it was Dove, but I was soaking in it. <laughs> <laughs> You're really trying to make me obsolete here. It's it made amazing. my skin so soft. Softer than a baby's this, bottom. This is such a bonkers Softer episode. than All my right, own Reggie. All right. bottom. Reggie, <laughs> come on. <laughs> this is way more fun than talking about the movie. <laughs> Making Paul uncomfortable with the truth. <laughs> Still super uncomfortable, and it's not the truth at all. All right. Cinematography, anything else you have to add? Or can we move on to sound? I feel like most of the cinematography, if you're going for visual elements, yeah. was just locations. Like, yeah. I feel like that was the big thing about it. And I will say, like as much, I, definitely not to the same extent, because the things that you got caught up on were such irrelevant things. Like 25 shilling for a pizza slice, for example. Yeah, yeah. You, you were so happy about that. I think I actually saw you get up across the room and get close to the screen to look at what the types of bills were that the gypsy was holding in her yep, hand. Yep. Yeah, you were very concerned with the financial aspect. No, see, they, they agreed on 50, and I just wanted to see if she actually had 50s in her hand and not 20s. Or they, oh, they said they established a number before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Still very relevant <laughs> if you think yeah. about it. But yeah, and then you were just like, oh, this Ube Burbank, best interest rates in the whole country <laughs> and so like things like that like but i will say the first time i watched it i yep. did have a little bit of that like childlike wonder because uh, like i usually don't care i'm dead inside but um, <laughs> oh, oh really i'm the <laughs> funny comedians <sighs> i'm gonna have to uh, cut that out <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean i don't give a shit i don't either we're not friends but <laughs> She's aware we're not friends. Okay. Is she? Yeah. Defriended me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're not friends. I did get like... I'm still going to blank it because that might make it funnier. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Whatever. You're like, okay. I don't give a shit. Really You're don't. that inside. But I don't know. Yeah. But no, like of people that I have to care about, not one of them. Um, now nah, you might as well believe it. <laughs> but, You're walking back on it too. <laughs> so this could be potentially... Bad for my future. No. No, but now it's just getting meaner than it needs to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but... Reg's motto. It's getting meaner than it needs to be. Yeah. And this is after I spent... You were the third of being a comedian I've accused of being a pedophile publicly. You're really throwing that accusation around very lightly. I mean, I think you're distracting from yourself at this no, point. The, the thing was like, because the, come on, this is this is this is was, this is like a this is like a like a priest that brings up homosexuality a lot, and he's like those fucking fags, and in reality he bums a dude as well. And yeah, you're I'm not fucking these children, okay? <laughs> huh? I'm not fucking children. I'm just giving them a little bubble bath. <laughs> They're dirty. Look at these dirty little children. <laughs> Oh, look at the funny with your, that with your your schmutzige Brustwarzen. <laughs> okay, you, you, <laughs> you, 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 Reggie. Well, the thing is, the trick is, you just pi don't picture what you're saying. That's what I do. Like I, I, <laughs> no, but like I do think like I definitely I say horrible things a lot. And oh, really? No, but I, my point is like. And I don't realize how bad what I'm saying is because I don't picture it in my mind. Uh, so okay. like, and the thing is like, I, but it's fun because there are a lot of people who like, if they hear something, they have to picture it. Mm. Like, um, it, subconsciously. I have that. I have that. I don't. If somebody says, think, don't, think, a, don't think, don't think about polar bears. Yeah. I have an image of an polar bear instantly in my mind. Like, it, it, that's just how my wife. My, if somebody my says, works. don't think about. <laughs> But if somebody says, don't think about polar bears, I instantly think of a polar bear fucking a child. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a garbage episode. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it's really good, but it's, it means, you know what that means for the structure and everything, that it doesn't mean anything in the end. Well, it's just you dicking around and, and, and me trying to keep up with you. And you trying not to be a pedophile. <laughs> 
No, but the thing is, like, so oh, okay. with it's the thing where, like, I I did it with with uh, James because it was funny, um, <laughs> yeah. and like it made sense why. Listen back to the it. to the to the All Ears on Us podcast for some brilliant, brilliant ped- pedophilia accusations. Dude, and this thing, like, it is quite, as I was having like, that conversation with Jack, ha- like. 50 minutes into the episode, I realized, I'm like, this might not be legal. Like, I <laughs> yeah, <don't- laughs> yeah, yeah, that's slander. <laughs> like, that's not- slander. I was really glad I changed the guy's name because, like, there's a part of me, like, the, the part of me that wants it to be funny, wants yeah. to just double down with everything. So yeah. he's like, he's probably not. There's a part of me that, at a subconscious level that w- refused to say, no, he's probably not. Yeah. Like, I just had to double down with the bit. <laughs> And like I realized, like I'm like I'm glad I changed his name because this might not be legal. Yeah. And then Jack, um, it just became fun to call him James. And the- yeah. <laughs> did Did you finish the? Not yet. No, no, no. Um. Well, and then I I decided now it's gonna be a running gag every time I have Jack on yeah. the show. I'm gonna introduce him as James Holmes. Right on. So, right um, on. Should I do the same here? Please he's do. Pro- he's probably not gonna listen to this. So. No, definitely not. He's not. <laughs> <Motherfucker. he's fucking. laughs> He, yeah, it's fair enough. He doesn't even listen to all my shit. Which he is, doesn't even listen to his own episode. So where he's yeah, on. but like, why would you want to? Because it's interesting. Who wants to hear Jack talk? I, I, I do. You do. You like him. What? Why would you have him on so many times? Because it's easy and convenient. Because it, because I can call him. <laughs> because I can publicly slander him. <laughs> and no, but if you call it slander, you can't c- deny it like, in front of a court anymore. So I can publicly Slender accurately some. accuse him because of you can say it's comedy. Yeah, so, I can, <laughs> so I can publicly accuse him of things that he should not have done, but he definitely did do. Obviously. Uh huh. No, but my point is. Um, oh wow! This these is locations. The locations. So I did have a, like a brief moment. Yeah. I don't know how he got onto this actually. Uh, <laughs> not at all. Uh, I had this brief moment where again I was, you have a fetishization of accusing people of. of, of I just of, like saying things I shouldn't say. Yeah, that's a comedian's job to a certain degree. Yeah, but it's not like people look at me like, "Oh, Reggie, you're not on stage. You don't have to do it." I'm like, I'm not doing it because I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian because I got a like that's. I you just are always it. on. Yeah, you're always on. I'm not on. always on, but I do you're like... You're nearly always on. Every time I see you, you're on. I have never seen you off, except for in f- that one time before the show where you were down. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if I'm at home, I'm not I'm not on. And, like, if I'm around people, there are times... But the thing is, it's just... Yeah, I get that you're not I'm making not, jokes not, to yourself. Oh, oh, are man. you slamming yourself while you're in the shower? I'm like, yeah, pedophile! <laughs> 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 no! Like, you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like... Hey, look at that pedophile over there. Uh, I'm just... Uh, every time I take a shower, I'm just rubbing soap on my schmutzige Brustwarzen. Oh, it's getting slippery. I, oh. it, it would be so no, no, funny no. to accuse yourself. No teeth, no teeth. Uh, <laughs> be less gentle. Be less gentle. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> You're good at that. No, you're really good at that. Just, uh, that sounds so realistic that I can't stop imagining. See, you don't have it in your brain right now, but I have the actual mental image oh, of yeah. you seducing yourself. A little to the left. Okay, okay, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, no, but my... <laughs> so I don't know how we got to that again. Yeah. But my point was, with the locations, I did have a little bit where I saw like the Europa Funk yeah. and... The, you know, universitate. Yeah. Where I was just like, oh wow, that's my university. Or, yeah. I, I go to that place by when, when yeah. I'm going to work. Um, but in true to form of me, uh, being dead inside, you, which you is how we got it into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. I don't Classic know if you made. It to, I don't know if you made it to that part in the Loch Ness monster episode with Hey Mister Fish. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was very much hey, that. Fish, I'm like, hi, Mister Fish. Stop it. Yeah. I'm an adult. Don't you don't have me feelings. happy. Yeah, yeah. Like so, like I, I did get that a little bit, but you got it. In ways that were like completely irrelevant, of just like I saw a commercial once that said you could get ninety nine cents. Oh, Billa, I've heard of that word before because that's where I used to. Billa never showed up in this movie. That's no, it didn't. But like I was just trying to go with something that's completely yeah, irrelevant. Yeah. Okay, fair and then enough. it somehow went back to me. Like I stopped it, but I, you know where it was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, cinematography, cinematography done, I think. The, the locations look nice. They, they, they picked some... It real, shows good locations. They, 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 they showed some real places of Vienna that not every tourist is going to visit. You were upset also, about the continuity of their of their night out though you weren't happy about it either i mean like i just didn't get it but like the thing is you recognized more places and you were yeah. like how did they do this this is not no, no because that because but it i was want illogical. like if, if 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 i would plan out a perfect day or not uh, like a really romantic date and i could just pick and choose the locations in vienna uh -huh. and just instantly teleport there yeah sure fine i wouldn't be mad at all but they are like just we are a romantic movie let's just jump around to to really cool places yeah, but if you were immediately. planning a movie you might again they went the out into the 10th nice. district once they did and and which is essentially poland it's yeah it's in the middle of nowhere i would rather take a bus ride to poland than go to the 10th district yeah, it's shorter probably yeah. you're, you're <laughs> You're less likely to get robbed, and, <laughs> and the ch stuff is cheaper there. But in, in the tenth, they're less likely to call the cops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know how, how like your creepy Reggie uh, uh, character, you don't like or this just one? like yourself apparently. Well, no, it's a character. No, 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 no. I think this is I very. Think characters are my thing now. Uh, I think <laughs> no. I, gotta, I think I need to be a character comedian. Got any soap? That's no, my, no, 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 no. That's my pickup line for now. I'm like, hey, girl. You got any soap? Soap. <laughs> soap. Because you're like a... And, okay, all right. Give a nice little tooth look. Just... <laughs> I don't know if the camera is actually picking that one up. Got but. any soap? All right. <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> so disturbing. Um, but yeah, like the locations were... My, my big thing was... Just that it didn't make sense from logistically, like time wise. Like they had yeah. to go all around the city. And, like, one, I don't see the point in bar hopping anyway. And they have like, what, 18, 20 hours of time? Like, he total. legit, like, just spent money. Like, he's like, I, there's no currency exchanges in the United States. So I might as well get rid of all this shilling monopoly money yeah. beforehand. Because they went, like, a couple different coffee places and drink places. Yeah. Got, like, bars. The, 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 the pinball, Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Yeah, it was it, it was jumping they around so much. The, 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 the fortune teller with another hundred shilling in total. That's that's yeah. that's. Well, I mean, that's, that's not the place they went to, but like they they were at a cafe when that was happening, or yeah. at a bar or something. But it was enough where like they were jumping around a lot. Where I'm just like, yo, that's not how you do this. Yeah, <laughs> you you spend two fifty on one beer at a ship place, but that buys you accommodation for the next six hours. Because now you're a patron. <laughs> Don't you understand how being poor works? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, they, they apparently have and money. And never once did they, like, sneak off to the bathroom of these locations before leaving to steal all the toilet paper. <laughs> I don't... This th There was no yeah, truth that's, in that's, this that's, art. That's, that's weird. There's no that, truth in this yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, it is... <laughs> They are real characters, but they don't behave like real characters. <laughs> but I would totally steal all the toilet paper. Well, you're gonna go and just oh, the the real life hack here is steal a glass, uh, like a like a like a like a mug, and then go under the soap dispenser in the bathroom and just push out all the soap, and then you have just a, a mug full of soap. Again, what? that you can drop later. You what know, are you doing? <laughs> on, no, no, no one's dropping liquid soap <laughs> and getting raped. <laughs> Dropping can liquid you pick, can soap. You, can you pick up that liquid soap? There's just a soap. puddle of soap on the floor. Like, how about you want to pick it up? <laughs> and I'm like, the, the, the soap? And you're like, yeah, I got tongue first. And I'm like, but, oh, that's not really soap, is it? <laughs> I just go down there. I'm just licking up licking up the soap. <laughs> and they just slide in from behind. Just slide up from the Sounds. <laughs> Oh, you want to hear sounds? I got it. No, 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 no. Reggie. Let's get you that soap. We have to, we have to finish on, this podcast boy. at some point. Look at those dirty brown nipples. <laughs> they, they had Benny Hill in this. What? Yeah. They had Benny Hill music in this. I would have loved to soap up Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Benny Hill's Hill? I would have chased those little girls all around the hallway. <laughs> Yep. When it's like I said, everything's free if you're faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's the law of the jungle. If you you're want. free, if you're faster, it's free. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I should feel about this. 
I feel like you should know exactly how you should feel. You're and the fact that you don't know how you should feel <laughs> says a lot more about you than anything else. I mean, you're really committed to it. Like <laughs> it's, it's like a level of commitment that I would have never shown to a character that is this creepy. <laughs> I already have to deal with my own personality, you know. In all fairness, I've been watching a lot of Jim Norton lately, and like, uh, he has a lot of characters. Yeah. And I'm not trying to emulate his characters, but I do like. I'm looking. You're I'm drawing I, inspiration I've been, spe- from I've been that. spending time looking at like things that I. You don't do. N- no, or, not just that, but like things that I find funny that like like a pers- a stance that you'd have to take for it to be funny mm-hmm. that I could do and voices that like I might do for those that are different from what he is doing, but like right. looking for those in my like. Because I think that it might be interesting to eventually have, not something I'd necessarily do on stage, but like this, just to make somebody uncomfortable. Right. All right. Um, there's, so- there, there's no more time. There's no more time. We, we already did sound. I mean, sound was pretty boring. It was, yeah, we didn't do sound. There's not going to be a secret category, sound. just best moment and final conclusions. All right, let's do it. Come on. Best moment. What was your best moment? Best moments. Uh... Well, we didn't already do sounds for the record. I think if you listen, I back just to said Benny Hill, and there's some classical music. And oh yeah, it was it was pretty unremarkable. Yeah, the yeah, sounds. Yeah, it just felt like you were just out in town. Yeah, we don't have to speak about sound. Uh, it's not really noteworthy. All right, I got my one pun in there. Done. Hashtag make Paul irrelevant again. <laughs> <laughs> um, best moment. What was yours? <laughs> I liked, it wasn't like a, the best moment for the movie, but I quite enjoyed, and it's a shame because it's so early on, variations on a Paul, where it just looked like... <laughs> different Austrian... Austrian versions that, of Paul. Like, yeah. Like if your life like, had like, gone like differently... Marty, like Marty, there are different versions of me in the multiverse, but they're all here in Vienna. Yeah. And they all look like me. Yeah, like it was It was like... I, it, it is a remarkable, how, a remarkable how I look like a 1990s straight guy. Straight guy. Yeah, those are all straight guys back then. What do you mean by straight guy? No, the, the tight legs. Heterosexual with... man? Yeah. That's your definition? Of, like those nerds, you're like, look in at Vienna, that heterosexual in Vienna, man. In, in the Vienna in, in the 1990s, yes. Definitely. That was just the way. What did the gays wear? Nothing? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Just <laughs> mesh half tops? Yep, yep. It was it was the nineties, man. Mesh half tops and day glow. That's yeah. all I got. Yeah, it was before nine eleven. Everything was cool, you know. The mall fell. The the, the I don't the think nine eleven changed that. <laughs> like nine eleven changed a lot of things. I don't think it was like I don't think gays were like you know what we should cover up our dirty nipples. <laughs> this mesh half top it just doesn't feel somber enough. When yeah, we it's have, not the American. We've flag. lost the two largest phallic objects in the world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's like losing two famous sticks at the same time. How about we take our highlighter pink and make it, you know, just magenta instead to show some <laughs> seriousness. <laughs> All right, so your uh, best moment. Yeah, they were just, they were weird. And they looked like, one of them looked like a schlubby version of you, uh-huh. which meant just like three years ago you. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was pretty schlubby three years ago, that's true. And then like, it was like the other guy looked like they took out needy paul like pull, <laughs> pull out all those parts of you and just put it right beside it's that blessed, guy it's blessed me yeah like like when rick and morty went to the spot that took out all the um yeah yeah yeah, the bad things yeah on the quotes and yeah so then it was like it looked like you know it was you and like toxic you yeah but the thing is toxic you define only defines toxic as what you think is toxic and you don't realize how much of what you do is toxic so it still <laughs> left both people with quite a lot of garbage <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> you are you are my rick you know that you are my rick yeah i want to be everybody's rick you're, you're way smarter but you're also severely depressed <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, more, you I, know, we should totally do this, man. That's more Mr. Me Six than anything else. It was quite Me Sixy. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they, they were, they, they, the worst part is they, they pitched a play that sounds exactly like something, something you I would written. do. Yeah, you were, and, you were mad. And at this point. as it was happening, you were like, I would watch this play. <laughs> like, what was I it? would, I would. I don't remember what it was. 
initially a, something about, about a horse and a cow. It was yeah. a cow. Something oh, oh, I don't know yeah. what the initial Shut, plot was, see. but then it was a cow and uh, yeah, the this, cow is smoking. They were like, "What do you want to do?" And it's like, "We don't know." It's like that is not the very funniest thing to do in in uh, Vienna. Uh, but I can tell you what this is. Uh, this is a uh, this is an, uh, an advertisement for a play that we are both doing, and we would like to invite you. Oh, are you guys actors? No, not not professionally, which is reeks of Paul. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I do everything, but I'm. Um, not a professional. What is the play about? Oh, it's about these people who have a cow. Oh, is there a cow on stage? No, it is a person in a Dress cow costume. A yeah. Okay, it is me. I am the cow. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm the cow. And yeah, it is a very interesting cow. It's like a dog, you know? Like you throw a stick and the cow is like, okay, I will get the stick. And then it brings it back to you. Like a, It is a very funny cow. Uh, he also, <laughs> he also. I'm not making any of this up. No, uh, he, you, you, it's pretty much verbatim. He yeah. also, he, he, he sometimes, he can smoke cigarettes. You really with fucking his, nailed with the ex. Yeah. And, You're uh, really Nailing the accent. I love it. Uh, and it's most cigarettes with his hooves. And Paul was like, ha, 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 smoking cow. Which I was just like, Jesus Christ, that is that is Paul. That is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then, hold on. And then later, like 20 minutes later, Paul was like, they never went to go see the play. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they had a callback where they're like, yeah, no, it, it's going to. Yeah, that was a stupid shit. idea. Yeah, we yeah, obviously yeah. didn't do that. And Paul was like, you should have. My best moment was when they, uh, uh, when the Ferris wheel and they kissed. Oh, because it reminded you of you? Yeah, it's And the like time that you raped a girl at the top of the Ferris God wheel. God damn it, Reggie! <laughs> How old was the girl that you kissed up there? She was uh, like 25 at the time, I think. God, I was hoping this relationship was longer ago. I was hoping it was No, like she's your, older than me, too. I, so. I was just hoping it was your first kiss, so you'd be like, she was 15. <laughs> <laughs> you really wished. I mean, you I, had a glint in your eye right I was now. Like, like, I, was, I had my fingers <laughs> crossed, because that seems like a 16-year-old kind of The moment date. I said 12, and you're like, no, uh, I'm not 12. 12? No, yeah, 12? Like 20. Honestly, you know. like, when, you, when you just said 12, I was like, if he says 12, <laughs> I don't think he got his first kiss before 19. So that does make Actually, it weird anyway. Well, when did yeah. you get your first kiss? Uh, well, get. I don't know how you get a first kiss. Well, somebody else. They kiss yeah. you back. Okay. Uh, what, do you oh, mean no, no, that, that, what do you mean get? You just kiss and they just no, get, exist No, get there. implies that they kiss you without your your involvement, basically. No, I, mean, I feel you like... You receive I mean, kiss. like, you get it just like you get pussy. Ah, uh, okay. Fair yeah, enough. Don't fair enough. Look at it a little bit more misogynistically. Oh, I think yeah. we'll all become clear. <laughs> Sorry so that I'm so woke. Let me, man, explain <laughs> to this to you. Something never, somebody never said about me. Sorry um, that you're so woke? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they usually say, Sorry that I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the horrible episode sponsored by your nightmares. Um, sponsored by Paul's pastimes <laughs> and Reggie's fetishization of of child child molestation. I am not jerking off to this. Hashtag um, unhireable. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag yeah. We, the we, we just made ourselves unemployable. Well, self-employed. I, I'm almost ready to fire me from being a chuckle. <laughs> Yeah, so should it go without saying that these are all jokes? Yeah, uh, duh. yeah. I mean, yeah. Spoiler sure. alert: these are all jokes. Okay, I was I was gonna go down there. You know, I was gonna, all right. Okay, no, 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 no. We up, don't have time for this. I was gonna Reggie, up Reggie. Final conclusion. And then your plugs. Final Very conclusion. Important. I'll tell you what I want to plug. Uh, <laughs> final <laughs> conclusion. God damn it! Stop taking my puns, motherfucker. <laughs> keep up, Paul. Keep up. <laughs> I'm gonna roll out the, the the joke tanks, the Panzer, very soon uh, to to, saying, to, you know, to get some heavy artillery in here. I'm just saying, you, know, you we've all been there. We like you like you're like you know romancing a chick, and you go downtown, and it's all that nasty hair. It's like a jungle down there. You can't even find what you're looking for. I mean, that's not ew, ew. Mm-hmm. What yeah. what are you an Armenian? Why are you growing hair? <laughs> Since minions live forever, apparently. Uh, Armenian. Oh, a me- Armenian. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I, thought, I thought about the minions. I'm like, why? They have very little hair. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, final conclusion. It was good enough. I, I I think it was a really good as a concept. The concept of the movie was 
great. Yeah, I, I really think I like the way that it is kind of just like this real slice of life. And they have a great on screen chemistry. They do. They do. They 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 a lovely couple. It's not as cliche as most rom coms. Well, the thing is, they both and like Linklater, Ethan Hawke, and I don't remember her name. Uh, <laughs> Julie Delpy. Yeah. Yep. Um. They they all wrote Julie the script Delpy. together. Sorry. They wrote the script together. Oh, nice. Yeah, that so was a collab. Mm -hmm. nice. So the three of them worked on it so that they could get all the mannerisms, all the intricacies. Really down to, yeah. to, to, to... And to then the sequel was nine years later. And the way that it's structured, they actually based it nine years later as well. So they're aging in real time. And then nice. by coincidence, the third movie is also nine years later. That's amazing. So you're seeing them like in this slice of life in like Sweet. each time it's a day. So it's before sunrise, before midnight. Are and there any after Vienna sunset. callbacks so I can actually use it on FF Period 2? Or? Vienna callbacks? I don't think so, except uh, for the fact that it's based off something developing from that. Yeah, no, then but, we can't use it. But uh, <laughs> I mean, like, the like shows they'll, up in the middle of the I, second movie. I don't know the plots but, like, uh, or the actors in it, but like, again, like just like this one, they're the main two that mm. really matter. Right. But I mean, even if you don't do it with FFPO, it's worth watching. No, but I think it was it was really well done, and I, I they worked together quite well with it. And each one of them is a day. Yeah. And uh, like the first one is them first meeting each other. The next one's nine years later when they meet each other again for Great the first concept, time. Great concept, very realistic. And the third one, they've Lovely. gotten married and now they're with kids. Okay. Cool. So it's it's a great concept. It worked yeah. really well. They put a lot of work into it. Uh, parts of it, you know, you can see age. And how age affects it and per mm. perspectives. Because like when I'm looking at it now, I'm like, eh, you're a fucking twenty year old kid. Which like they weren't. They're probably honestly close to my age right now. But yeah, that's yeah, true. But like I'm not idealistic. Yeah. Not that they were completely either. You can definitely see like the kind of oh yeah, we're all just who knows. We, we, I'm, I'm so profound. <laughs> Look at me being being all all sarcastic about everything because nothing matters because this is the grunge era. Because that's, I think, that was at least Ethan Hawke's kind of thing, that, that, that grunge influence from the 90s. Honestly, I was just waiting for Denzel Washington to show up. <laughs> yeah, to, to, to real I legit complete thought, his training day. First half of it, I'm like, this is a prequel to training day. Yeah. Like, this is... He gets jaded, shoots <laughs> shoots somebody on the street. How great would it be if I just thought every time you see a movie with the same actor, you're like, this is the same character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This same. is the same universe. Oh my. This is the shared Ethan Hawke universe. <laughs> oh my God, Tomb Raider met the <laughs> Tomb Raider met the dude from Fight Club. They're like, this is having fun with Dick and Jane. And I'm like, no, it's a crossover. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Terminator made an ex a, a that cameo. That 80s show, that 80s show, and 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 uh, How I Met Your Mother are interlinked because the. It's always Sunny. No, How I Met Your Mother. You said it's always Sunny earlier. Yeah, that too, but oh. but How I Met Your How I Met Your Mother too because uh, the 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 redhead from you, How I Met Your Mother plays you a police officer. And, huh? How did you meet her mother? <laughs> Was there so? After what? I, I so after I, I, I met the kid at, at uh, football practice was in the a, locker room. Was it a soapy little meat cute? Yeah. <laughs> it was really slippery. I it slid like into a, that relationship really like a really Japanese easy. slip and slide. Yeah. <laughs> I slid all up into it. Okay. <laughs> You're soaking in it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate your character so much. <laughs> And you kind of continue to do it because you know you get a rise out of me. Well, I think I might just make this character James because it makes sense. <laughs> you probably like, that's a pretty logical. That's a pretty logical character to make. Fair, fair, yeah. <laughs> so I loved the movie. I really did. It's it's amazing in in how simple it is and what a simple story it tells, and still being really captivating and sweet and honest, and. Just showing basically real people. Again, during the movie, I said several times that I felt the same way and had the same experience as they did at certain points. And that, you know. I've also met a girl before. Yeah. That's. <laughs> no, but I mean, it is a special thing to have only that limited time frame to meet somebody, to really connect to somebody that you find interesting and, and then intriguing. to waste it all with talking instead of banging on dog shit in a park. no see that's what my, where mine differed a little ah, so bit there's no truth to this art <laughs> <laughs> they should have banged like a minute two before uh, getting out of the train actually I, that should have been the the, the pitch of just have like, you ever what? had sex on a train no i'm a i'm a decent human being paul okay 
I that's such a blatant lie. <laughs> I have, it's not, I have sex with adults who have like places to live. I don't mean you don't need to sneak into a train like no, vagrants. but if you no, not no, but if you're already uh, traveling it, you, you she's know. got a bindle full of condoms. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> you never carry a condom, not in a bindle. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bindle condom. A bindle full of condoms. All right, yeah, I think we can end it here. Plugs. Where can people find you? What do we want? Pl links in the description below. No, don't do it. Come on. <laughs> do, it do it properly. Be a professional. Be a professional. I like, I like that. Like, I just move my face closer <laughs> yeah. to the mic and you're like, James is coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Re-emerging. Yeah. What's that, Reggie? You have to go? Okay, I'll, I'll do your plugs for you. Don't worry, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie's got to go do a show right okay, now. Yeah, it's I'm called Make I'm Jokes, Not Wars. <laughs> I'm just leaving now. <laughs> You're doing this for another half an hour. He's a very funny comedian. And uh, he's going to do some jokes. Okay, come on, Reggie. Let's some soap. I, Vienna I chuckles. <laughs> for the yeah. Austrians in the audience, chuckles is... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, Vienna chuckles. It's the moment I did material of yours... You got really mad. <laughs> also, but yeah, it's also not like a great joke anyway. It's just an easy enough thing to say to people who don't have the opportunity to look at it in show notes, which I'm assuming you're putting info in show notes as opposed oh, yeah. to just yeah, yeah. being... Yeah, of course. Like, it's different than it being at a show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Vienna Chuckles. I, I produce shows for Vienna Chuckles and host them as well. Great shows, guys. Great shows. Check uh, them out. Thank you. And uh, Sometimes I'm on. So facebook.com slash <laughs> chuckles. Uh chuckles means uh, <laughs> and my personal my, my not personal but my, my artist page for me as opposed to the organization is uh Facebook.com slash the Reginald Barris. I assume Paul will also put that in the show notes. Of course. Yeah. I'd like to please you with my links, you know. Get that connection going. You mean, uh, your Legos? Like is that I just want to please you with my links. <laughs> I'm gonna put those Legos together. Just snap, snap, just one little, <laughs> one little peg right into a hole. I think we can do a s s slow fade out. You just pull out. You just pull out the Legos like, and just one little, just one, one at a time. I have to put it in, and then just pull it back out. But then I get another Lego. Sometimes you got four holes with some of these Legos. They're different. Oh, you ever go to a Lego store? There's all kinds of holes in those Lego stores. You get, you get these different, wow, oh, I just go to, sometimes when I'm bored, I just go to a Lego store with a bag full of soap and just see what happens, you know, just like, hey, who knows? I you think know? this should be, be gonna, banned by the Geneva Convention, I, I <laughs> this voice I'm, and your character. One of these days I'm going to meet my future wife and I'm sure. This is like ASMR for pedophile, uh, for, 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 for sexual deviance. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not, not, ew. <laughs> We're talking about soap. Uh, <laughs> Every time you pop the sound in soap, I'm it's like, I, it's like the plopping noise that a, a butt plug makes sexual, that you pull out. Sexual, no, it's not sexual at all. <laughs> it's just about getting clean. Mm -hmm. Just lathering real, them. Real clean? Just lathering them up. <laughs> just, I want to give you like a Santa beard of soap. Oh, I want to meet my. Actually, I just, I just want to see how long are you gonna continue my to wife do this? Is gonna be the cleanest little girl in the world. <laughs> are you enjoying this? So I much? now pronounce you James and whatever. Not important. Just as long as she's <laughs> Somebody else. I now pronounce you James and clean little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable it's hilarious it is amazing it is amazing how hard i cringe like i am near close to a close to being a black hole that's how much i want to fold in on myself and disappear right now you know it is it is amazing you yourself so, no yourself. stop reggie it'd be way easier to get into yourself we have to stop this podcast you can get so far into yourself you get that far you know Get that far uh, body wash. And you can get into yourself. It'll make I you might sick. cut this all from the podcast. It'll it's gonna be it's gonna be fifteen minutes long. 
It's gonna be an intro, and then you ever drop? You ever bring two soaps so that you can drop one and then still have another? <laughs> Backup soap. Yeah. I like to. I like to lead with the body wash and just uh, finish up with a bar. No, really. What? What about it's conditioner? A, it's a nice hard bar. You. <laughs> Of soap. Think of it as foreplay. You're killing me. Because you know what? No one Reggie, wants to. You're no one me. wants to go into a dirty hole. <laughs> you gotta get in there, just like ex- excavate. <laughs> just, just like an archaeologist, just going in there and cleaning up, <laughs> cleaning out the cave, as I like to call it. You know. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll find some 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 paintings on the wall. From prior occupants. What colors? Don't worry about your messy little <laughs> colored colored walls. Crayons on the walls. <laughs> Some finger paint. Look, mommy, I drew a... I drew. <laughs> it's amazing how you can, how long you can hold this before before like. <sighs> it, it is quite amazing. All right, I Reggie. Thank you, f- thank you for being here. Yeah. yeah, thank you it for was, having this me. This was, was amazing. I was glad to actually enjoy one of the movies. And then <laughs> being creepy for an hour and a half. It's amazing. That wasn't me, that was James. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. you were channeling James. Do you want to ask for James's plugs? James, do you have anything to plug? <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. This is going to take another 15 no, minutes. I have my own. The, the one problem that I have with the character is that he's, he's occupying you for like 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Look, dude, I, look. I just feel like you've gotten your audience. You know, I've gotten to make my plugs. James should just get to make his plugs. That's I mean, he's yeah, that's true. Thank you. I just wanted to make my. I have a podcast. Do you want to hear my podcast? <laughs> Creeping with James. I don't know. That's on the nose. <laughs> I need that's to work. Too that. Obvious. that sounded way too much like Chip Chip, and I need to adjust that. Yeah. Um, my pod. My podcast is called Soapy Suds. <laughs> We just, it's just, it's really, we don't like to talk. Talking ruins it. <laughs> it's just, it's just audio recordings it's of people laughing up. It's mostly, it's just a podcast of photos. <laughs> <laughs> podcast of photos. You mean a slideshow with audio? <laughs> Reggie reinvented this, uh, jo- sorry, James reinvented the slideshow just now, guys. Amazing! It's like, it's like a time lapse. You get to watch the boys grow from their from, from their peak and just wither into adults. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> James, th- Jesus. Yeah, good, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> uh, Reggie, thank you for being here. This wa- this has been quite quite the trip. Um, I, I I I loved I loved it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, and uh, thank you for letting me watch a good movie and. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for letting me. So uh, this is Reginald Barris signing out. Yep. And a goodbye from James, too. <laughs> All right. Bye. Don't drop the soap. Boom.